for today's cup of coffee, we have made a discovery. Pardon? It's a realization. Discovery that we are something. We are podlings. We are podling pirates. Also known as pod people. We mm-hmm. are the pod people. The yeah. Podlings. I like it's... the podlings. Yeah, that was the thing. If you all have never seen Dark Crystal, please watch it. You can find it, I'm sure, someplace. For real, please watch it. It's by Jim Hansen. It's he really was good. Brilliant. God, I love Jim Hansen. He also made the movie Labyrinth. If you have not seen the movie Labyrinth, Labyrinth is go amazing. see that. I, if you have not, if you have seen one but not the other, what? Why? Yeah, really. Literally, you cannot watch those two. You cannot watch one or the other. You have to watch both. I know yeah. they don't intertwine, but it's Jim Hansen, and they are some incredible films by him. He was just such a brilliant man. Yeah. And it's like I miss the fact that his presence is no longer on this planet. The worlds he created. Yeah. He truly did. And he loved it. Yeah. He he honestly, he lived his dream. Yeah. And that's something that a lot of us wish we could do, but we could. And they did him justice with that show that was based off the Dark Crystal. Was that the Dark on Crystal Prime? show? It was on Netflix. Netflix. Okay. Because we started watching some of it. Netflix, continue it. I don't give a fuck. Y'all got the budget. Continue but it. They could do a lot of things, but it was decent, so they probably won't. Yeah. And it was sort of like the um, prequel to the movie Dark Crystal. It was the prequel. And so the some of the main characters, you had Agra, who I... I'm, I'm turning into Agra. What's Physically. wrong with Agra? Everybody loved Agra. <laughs> she was the, she, she was the elder that knew all. She was supposed to be the keeper of the planet. So this has got lots of spoilers and it, it shouldn't take away from your enjoyment. But this is in the series that the Skeksis had tricked her. Mm-hmm. And they had given her this huge astrolabe type thing and that she could somehow travel the universe and so basically what she had done her body had slept for hundreds of years and so while she was asleep not being the guardian of the planet there was all kind of fuckery that had occurred for real they lied to her but that was the whole plan but that was what was interesting because yeah yeah it was in the movie it alludes and we never did finish the series so you know but in the movie, it alludes to the fact that there were these creatures that they had both dark and light, like all of us do, within them. Mm-hmm. And that somehow, through their vanity and their pride, they split. The two halves split totally. And so you had the ones that were evil, that evil side, and those were the Skeksis. And then you had the mystics. Mm-hmm. And so it was a matter of the Skeksis abused everything. They took advantage of everything, all the other creatures, and especially the little podlings. God love the podlings. They They were were victims. They were just simple. They lived their lives. They did. They were peaceful. They they were happy. They played music. They, They laughed and loved each other. That was the thing. They were community. They were family, and they threw a hell of a party. Mm -hmm. And it's like you they're in the movie where you have the Gelflings that had come to uh, check. There was one of Kira was the one that lived near the Podlings. Yeah. And so she was kind of used to them. them. Mm -hmm. Because she was raised by them. Yes, because the Skeksis had basically eradicated all of the Gelflings. Mm -hmm. Because there was prophecy that said that the Gelflings would kill the Skeksis. Yep. And so Kira was, she was raised by the Podlings. She was. And and so She spoke their language and all that. Yeah, Jen was the male gelfling who was raised by the mystics Mm -hmm. and when it it was his time to go on his journey and fulfill his destiny and you know what the mystics were peaceful too absolutely because they were the positive the good the light side but they didn't do anything to try to stop the skexies 
and one has to wonder why. And maybe it was just them waiting for the appointed time. We don't know. There's a lot within this universe that needed to be sort of fleshed out. I think they were waiting for the appointed time because... The crystal had to... The, the, this alignment had to occur before the crystal could be healed. Because yeah. it, had, it had fractured. But also the head of these mystics, you know, the one that raised Jen. He told him, like, I, he was dying, and he's like, you need to go now. Mm -hmm. It and is when, time for your journey. You need to go now. Right. And when one of the mystics died, one of the Skeksis died, because mm -hmm. they, they were Two opposite ha opposite sides of the same coin. But when they were finally merged together, they were the same entity. Mm -hmm. Both sides, the same entity, and they were these giant, like, white light beings. Right. And that they did learn from, th but it's one of those that had the crystal not been healed. Mm -hmm. And that was what the Skeksis tried to prevent the, was the crystal being healed. Because they, they were not concerned with being whole. No. They wanted to continue to take advantage and, and do evil. That was what they wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot in there to think about, to ponder. Yeah. But it's like, we've got so much shit going on in our world today. And it's like to realize that the podlings, because the Skeksis found a way, they basically were harvesting the podlings. They drank their essence. They had misused the crystal to where it would draw the essence, the life force, out of the podlings as some kind of an elixir. But the pod, I'm not even going to try to speak their language. Yeah, no, no, no. The podlings basically uh, referred to themselves into whatever that language is, the podling language. Uh, and it translated to master gardeners who lived in the bulging plants. Yeah. They yeah. had little time for sadness or introspection, living only to the crop live, living only to plant their crops and tend their animals and play music. Yeah. They made their homes in the hollowed out seeds of the pod plant. Yeah. So thus Since, they were the podlings. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It was way cool. And it's like to sit there and go, hmm, we're podlings. We are podlings. And I'm okay with that. I think a lot of people would be okay with being podlings, as long as the Skeksis will leave us the hell alone. Although we got ears. They, they didn't have ears. They didn't have ears? I guess they don't have ears. They didn't have, like, ears that stuck, like, they lacked external ears. <laughs> But in the series, there was one little podling that he wanted to be a warrior. Because one has to wonder, they, they were totally defenseless. They were. But, they didn't fight. They didn't argue. Nothing right. like that. But little dude, he wanted to be a warrior. And he went out with his spoon. Y yeah. And he was going to train to be a warrior to learn how to protect himself and his family. With that little wooden spoon. Absolutely. And I think he had actually at one point been victorious in one of the episodes with his little spoon. They lacked political structure as well. They didn't need it. If everybody plays nice with each other, they don't need political structure. What does that say to us humans? Yeah. That was the whole point. We were designed to be podlings. They did, however, occasionally nominate a particularly uh, venerated, I think that's the word, mm -hmm. venerated elder as chief, whom they would call the father and consult in times of difficulty. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. But if everybody works well together... You know. We could be like the podlings if everybody just worked together and played nice. Yes, but at this point, the, the, crystal, the, the crystal is still broken. 
It has shattered. Who's who's going to put back the shard, though? There again, we've got to wait for the Great Conjunction. Well, the Great Conjunction is coming up. That it was a matter of... Uh, I hope I didn't. I bet you I did. I did. I did. As far as the skies and the coming... The sign of the coming of the Son of Man. Yeah. So that's going to be some kind of event that's in the heavens. We don't know what that's going to be. I don't we know. don't. I don't know, but I'm one of those podlings that's being like, Come back! Come back! The podlings, Heal it. like I said, threw a hell of a party. I want to throw a they hell had, of a party. They had grog. They had music. They had laughter. That's all they wanted to do. That's all we want to do. That's all, they just wanted to tend to their plants and uh-huh. play music and just and be. just be. Yeah, they were in, in in harmony. That was the whole thing, and that was the the point about the mystics and the skexies. They were no longer in harmony. No. And that the mystics. That there was this sound, this tone. They, they would chant, and it, it was similar to the ohm. But if you notice, the Skeksis, they didn't do any no. of that. No, they didn't. I don't know that the way that their forms were, that they had the ability. I don't think they could. Now, they abused that crystal. They abused everything. They did. But that crystal, they abused yes. it. They were the reason that it cracked. Right. But the thing is... In the original movie, she says the crystal cracked. That's how. That's when the Skeksis appeared and the Mystics. Mm-hmm. How'd the crystal crack in the beginning then? Well, that was what the creatures at the end, and that was one of those things that needed to be fleshed out a little more. If the series was just continued. Because of their pride and their arrogance. And, and so they forgot themselves. They forgot who they were. And you've got so many people out there that they're at war within themselves. Because the crystal was already cracked in the show. Yeah, they're they're out of harmony with themselves, with nature, everything. Yeah. They are. And it's okay to be a podling. I would like to be a podling. Go get you a plant this weekend. If you possibly can, go out and get you a potted plant. It will make you happy. It will bring you joy. Learn an instrument. Yeah. What's it, the little kalimba thing? Is that what it's called? The little thumb? Yeah, the thumb piano. Those things are easy. You can learn them. Just get one. Hum. Yeah, hum. Teach yourself how to sing. And you can teach yourself, unless you're tone deaf. Make a joyful noise. Just hum. What are those people that are tone deaf? Because they can't, can't, like literally, they can't sing in tune. They don't... It's okay. They don't hear certain notes they, in music. That's, that is sad. They I, they, they can't can, tell the difference between still, certain songs because it's just it does not. They could still hum, and they could feel the vibration within themselves. Mm. That's yes, and that is a healing thing. There have been many cultures for millennia that have discussed about the healing of tone. We need to remember that, even as far as when Songs you with do a good message. when you do chant the Om thing, and you get that that resonance, and it just vibrates your entire being. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Music. Yeah. When you're listening to, uh, how do I put this? Music that. Even though it has an all right message, it's still not the greatest. That affects you. Yep. That really does. Because you're still getting that in that negative part of that song into your spirit. There's lots and so, of and music a lot that of, doesn't have lyrics. There, lots of it. But we're talking about the ones, like, I'm talking about the ones where the singing, because the hum. Mm-hmm. It can be so out of balance with the frequencies. Oh, yeah. 
there's people that they have there is music that we listen to on a day-to-day that is throwing us off yes balance yes and that's purposeful i have heard there's people that's done research on that on the different frequencies Mm -hmm. and that it was changed to be out of balance yes how do we find those frequencies that are in balance you actually can do that there are people that have uh, made lots of videos the different frequencies the ones that even as far as the gregorian chants the Buddhist monks, there's lots of different traditions. Psalms were supposed to be sung. We we just don't know the tune. And so it's a matter of, it's up to us. If we find out we're out of balance, it's our responsibility, our personal responsibility. We can ask for help, but we have to be willing to receive help. You know, it's that old saying, when the student is ready, the master will appear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But just to hum doesn't have to be anything in particular. Make a joyful noise today. Yeah. And it's okay to be a podling, but you're going to be a podling pirate on this little pirate ship. We're going to be sa- a sailing the ghost seas with our no ears and our Absolutely. Spoon, spoon sword. Absolutely. That's the thing. They didn't Pirate have any radio weapons. ship. They had no weapons whatsoever. No, they didn't need them. They didn't. Such a peaceful group of beings they are. And that families can do that. Individuals can do that. Communities can do that. Find people that are in harmony with you. And we we see what's going on. But for today, find peace, find harmony. Hum. Mm-hmm. Get you an extra cup of coffee and just embrace your inner podling. Yes. Yes. We like the podlings. We love the podlings. I love the podlings. We are podlings. But I thought that was an epiphany. And I'm like, hmm, we're podlings. And I was very much okay with it. We pirate podlings. That's Hard. why God likes us. Because we're just, we want to be simple, but other shit's throwing us off yeah. balance. Absolutely. And it's a matter of just taking it and rolling with it. I'm not talking about just us. It. I'm talking about humans in general. Yes. yes. So, final thoughts on podlings? I like the podlings. I like the podlings. I want to be a podling. You are a podling, honey. <laughs> you have achieved your goal. <laughs> if you've had experiences with paranormal or supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, dark crystals, yeah. podlings, gelflings, skexies, mystics, agra. What is agra? Agra just is. Agra is just agra. Agra is agra. Yeah, that's it. And she's okay with it. She's she kind of grumpy, though. She's old. She's tired. I understand. Like I said, I'm, I'm fear that I'm becoming Agra. <laughs> every time she tries to down, sit down so. and tries to get back up. Yes, that is the Agra. I think of that every time. <laughs> <laughs> you can email us a cup of coffee I love, with Scream I at gmail.com. I love every single scene that Agra popped in. I love her. <laughs> I'm like, oh, God, this is my fate. This is my fate. Like, I would be picking her brain left and right and be like, <laughs> you're the grandmother. Can I have a hug from the grandmother? Yeah. From the grand high mother. Absolutely. I think that's an excellent way to describe her. She was the grand high mother. Yeah. So. Can I get a hug from the grand high mother? I'm sure that she would oblige you. That's what I'm like, because God's going to get married. Okay. Did, did, uh, you know, he said With that this. he was ready for his, like, With getting Christ, his bride. As far as the bride, yeah. That's, that's what I mean. Yeah. But I'm like, who's he getting married to? Well, that was. Who's he getting married to? Who's the girl? It's a whole spiritual thing. It was, uh, it's a group of people. It was a nation. There's a lot of things that's written 
and we're like, okay, how does this work exactly? And and we don't know. I mean, we do the best that we can. Yeah. I, again, with my podling brain, I keep, try to keep it simple. Don't go out there and hurt people. Don't treat people the way I don't want to be treated. Treat them the way I would like to be treated. So That's it's it. Like, I'm simple. If Christ is going to get married, who's the grand high mother? Mm -hmm. Who's going to be the grand high mother? I don't know. Because there has to be, there's the grand high father, but you, where's the mother? You, I'm trying to wrap this cup up and you going on a total, I am, you know. I am. This is stuff Johnny. I ponder. This is stuff I ponder. <clears throat> yes, but ponder that on a different cup. I try not to get into some of the hermeneutics and different things like that. Hermeneutics. And, uh, yes. They, they don't go there. Not not on this what cup. We let other people who, who do that. A, what is a hermeneutic? A hermeneutics yeah. as far as understanding of scripture and different things like that. Okay. And there's a lot of people that they don't. And that is a rabbit hole that is so broad and so deep. And this is people have spent lifetimes on it. And especially like eschatology. That's true. And that was the reason that Michael Heiser, and, and it's like I think of him almost daily. And and as far as his wisdom and the study that he did over over the course of his short lifetime and how things are going today and, and how, it, you know, as far as what he could, his input and his understanding of what's going on. And sometimes you do question. It's like, God, why did you take him now? But there is a reason. <sighs> There's always yeah, a reason. but he did not like to get into as far as eschatology and, you know, prophecies and stuff like that, because they, we, uh, most prophecies are not understood until after the event. Yep. And then you can go, oh, okay, that's where that, that worked. Or like towards the end of the event. Yeah. Because that's what happened in uh, Dark Crystal. They found out. The prophecy is true, literally halfway through their journey, almost to the complete end. Absolutely. They didn't even realize they were the chosen ones until they found the the wild drawings. Yeah. So. Yeah. And you can't stop prophecy from happening. You can't. There is no stopping it. No. So, do you want to do your spiel now? If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, <laughs> comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you. We're getting out of here. Yeah. Be a podling. Podling pirate. <laughs> know that you're loved. Yeah. Yes. And Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cut. Yes. Bye. Do Americans sound like podlings to other people in other countries? I, I don't even know how we sound to other people. We probably do sound like podlings. Maybe. It's all right. Yeah. The I'm perfectly fine with that. I have no problem with it. <laughs> Bye. Bye.